Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. How are you guys all doing today? Welcome to another Money Monday. I hope you guys are good. I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are enjoying Money Mondays. I'm really enjoying the love on the channel so far. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. Take a seat, you guys. Before we go deep into this video, I'd first like to thank our sponsors for today's video, which is the BOPF. The BOPF stands for the Business of Pre-Loved Fashion. This is a luxury brand that we homes pre-loved original authentic luxury items and they are based in Dubai. Much as an as you want me, ballin' my name, the gas like octane, shit, I'm about to evolve. Cap is your game, shoot but don't end, you know that I'm a big dog. You ain't really want to smoke with me, so let me know if you do. You wanna... In today's video, we're actually going to be talking about if luxury handbags specifically, not just every luxury item, if luxury handbags are a good financial investment, or can we even call them a financial investment in the first place? This conversation was triggered when I first watched Mercy. Mercy K is a past winner of the Big Brother Nigeria. So she came out with this video on YouTube where she was showing us her top five no. luxury handbags. No. And the most expensive one, which was her number one, was the Hermes bag, was a Birkin, and it cost about $23,500. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> the accountant to me could not relate. I was just like, wait, what? A favorite designer handbag with two, actually two Birkins. One cost eighteen thousand dollars, and the other one cost two thousand five hundred dollars. It's carry it very well. Don't even let anything touch it. See these two bags. <laughs> I think in Nigeria they are popular than they are more popular than some people, and I, I mean it when I say it. This bag trended for like five days if i'm not mistaken everybody was just talking about it why you're sitting on somebody's land right now you're sitting on your house right now this video is not about bashing anybody's financial decision decisions of financial choices i'm pretty sure at that stage in her life she probably already is invested in real estate in the stock market and everything but before we go further let's go backward where did luxury handbags originate from luxury handbags actually originated from just as as far back as the 30s and 40s with the very first luxury handbag ever being made by the venetian fashion house owner juliana in the 30s um Hermes came out with the Birkin bag and the Birkin bag is called the Birkin bag because it was made for Jane Birkin she was the first time to ever wear a Birkin bag it became popular it grew over the years and today we have it as I mean you have to be on a wait list to buy a Birkin bag okay hello somebody important that's the origin of what I say luxury items or luxury handbags in general they've kind of gained popularity over the years especially in today's age where you see like social media everybody wants to stomp on the gram you have to you literally have to be on a wait list to buy a Birkin bag we're talking about if luxury bags are actually a good financial investment or if they are even a financial investment in the first place to begin with the S&P 500 is a stock, it's a stock market index that it's kind of like a cumulative of the top 500 companies in the United States and usually those companies have, have a market cap of about 5 billion US dollars to put it in plain English it's kind of something that indicates how well the market is doing in general and it's a benchmark for other stock markets or, or other indexes other indices does that make sense for you guys? I really hope it does but let's just say it's an index that indicates how well the market is doing and it contains the top 500 companies Research that came out recently and it showed that luxury handbags actually had greater value after 35 years than the S&P 500. Like, can you beat that? I was blown away when I saw that. So it shows that it showed us that, or it told us this particular study. Though this study was in 2015, so we don't have any data for 2021. But I would like to. I'm pretty sure it follows the same trend. And after this study came out, it showed that the S&P 500 versus only luxury bags it showed that it pays more to an investor if it's an investment to own a luxury handbag because it's appreciated more in value than the s p 500 index yeah i feel like i explained it well to you guys so when i actually um did this research and i i found this i'm just like this is actually crazy because why is nobody talking about looking at luxury handbags and in, as an investment and i think it's because of a couple of things that i'm going to outline in this video and something really interesting when it comes to investing investing luxury handbags i don't know why i struggle to call it an investment even though it could 
potentially could be one or is already one because when it comes to luxury bags before we call them a financial investment we have to consider a couple of factors number one the resale value one thing i found out is if you actually buy a really good piece like mercy ek's would i say top three pieces if you actually buy really good pieces they have really good resale value as you guys are going to see here this pretty little red bag i got this bag before i went to big brother Chanel classic so yeah this is my favorite bag of all time I love them they're beautiful I wish you can see them in person watch it feel it or maybe carry lighting up the stages have a mosh Cinderella baby drop the bar and even though I saw that like for most of them she'll probably be selling them just around the same amount as she bought them because the companies are going to resell it for you are going to take a commission it's also possible to resell it hand to hand so you can find find someone who really wants to own that piece of breaking and sell to them at a premium so it's actually a really good deal so the resale value is good because financial a financial investment or when you invest we all hope that investments do well and they appreciate over time so you're expecting that if i put in one naira in the next 10 years i should have one billion naira that's why people invest that's what that's what financial investments are all about so i'm actually really impressed to see that they actually really do have a very good resale value so that makes them actually worth considering however there are, there's, there are also some factors that i'd like you guys to consider before um purchasing luxury handbags and i also like to point it in this video that if you give me the choice of buying a luxury handbag or a car i'll probably take a luxury handbag because i don't like i just don't like the, the concept of cars because they are not an investment as soon as you drive it out of the garage it has lost 50 percent of its value and then a car is not an asset it is a liability because you have to keep spending money to keep it in pristine condition so if we link if we kind of compare luxury bags with cars we can see that they definitely have way more value than cars if you do decide that you want to consider luxury handbags as financial investments there's some things you need to also consider number one you have to buy a classic piece you have to buy a timeless piece that you can always resell for a very good price you have to buy something that never goes out of season something that is always trendy another thing you need to consider if you want to purchase or if you want to consider investing in luxury pieces is you have to keep them in really good condition you can't use the bag just anyhow you can't like well if you buy a bag of twenty three thousand dollars, i'm pretty sure you're not going to do that you can't throw the bag everywhere you can't treat it like trash you have to keep them in pristine condition because you're considering reselling them another thing you have to consider is you have to keep the documentation intact because they're going to need it to verify that you actually own this bag before they resell it so if you do decide to resell you might want to consider selling to a renowned reseller or to a renowned rehomer which brings me to my sponsor of today's video the business of pre-loved fashion Love fashion they sell original authentic handbags that they verify themselves to new owners so if you have luxury handbags that you're considering like i've used this bag for some time time for me to give it a new name you might want to consider reaching out to them their instagram and their website will be in the link in the description box below and also if you're thinking of buying a luxury handbag but you're not yet sure or you don't want to commit so much money because i will never advise you to take a huge chunk as i've said on this channel before if you can't afford it three times over then you really can't afford it so if you're really considering like i want to own a luxury handbag it's a statement piece it's an investment piece in my wardrobe i really want to own one but i don't want to spend twenty three thousand five hundred dollars naira for a handbag you might want to consider buying a pre-loved bag because these people actually resell ones that are kept really well really neatly and in pristine pristine condition and you get good box for your money from there you can test the waters and see if you actually want to buy brand new even if you want to buy a brand new bear kit, you have to be on your way through so why don't you just get it from a reseller anyways that brings me to the end of this video i really want to know what you guys think about it do you guys think that luxury items luxury handbags specifically are actually investment pieces do you consider them as a financial investment or you do you just buy them because you like them and you want to feel bougie you know it's like how we buy um 
it's like how we buy something really expensive and then we tell ourselves like oh this is better quality and if i buy this i don't have to buy like 10 other handbags because this one will last me but in reality you're not going to carry that you're not going to carry your Birkin bag everywhere you go so you're still going to end up buying those 10 other handbags at the end of the day so yeah they call it the cost per wear but at the end of the day you still you're still going to um invest in other pieces so you need to consider all the factors when you want to purchase a luxury handbag and do let me know if you guys are going to purchase one the link is in my description box below and if you use my discount code you get a discount on the website go right ahead and do that um yeah so let me know what you guys thought about this video love you guys and i'll see you in the next one bye